I think so, thank you. Oh, well, you're too young to remember, but it used to be that you could walk safely in this park at night, and now in broad daylight. This is terrible. I'm sorry, he was just too fast for us. No permanent damage, I hope. <laughs> no, just to my ego. <laughs> well, we tried, but he outran us. You know, if you two guys were chasing me, I think I'd run like hell, too. <laughs> Healthy or dead, that's our motto. <laughs> we try to stay in shape. At your age, it's easy. At our age, it's imperative. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? Uh, my my money, my, my keys, my wallet, everything was in my jacket. You live nearby? Uh, no, Midtown. Well, we live right there across yeah. the park. I mean, why don't you come over and use the phone? Uh, I couldn't impose on you oh, guys. Oh, come, come on. on. Don't be silly. Besides, we can't leave the Sam out here in the cold. <laughs> Catch your death in pneumonia. Yeah, I know. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is it? Personal message? Matt just called. He's babbling something about setting a new personal best, and he said he got mugged. Don't worry, he's okay, he's fine. Just call him. Here, I punched the number in already. You just gotta hit send. I want you to come pick him up. for someone? Uh, Dr. Janos? Must be Jackie. You must be Dr. Yanus. I uh, used to be doctor. I'm retired now. It's just Arnold now, just plain old Arnold. And you are as lovely as Matt made you out to be. Thank you. Come on, everybody's dying to meet you. They're up in the gym. You have a gym in here? Oh, yeah. If you'd like a little workout, I'm sure one of the girls has some clothes. Well, that's sweet, but to tell you the truth, I absolutely hate exercising. Well, as a doctor, I would recommend you change that attitude. But you're retired. You got me there. <laughs> Here it is. Matt? There she is. Oh, thank God you're okay. Uh, mm, oh, oh, just a little bruised rib. Oh. Oh, have you been smoking? It's your fault. We got mugged. I'm Phoebe, Arnold's wife. <laughs> Hi. I understand you're one of Matt's rescuers. <laughs> Lucky you came along. Well, he... He's lucky in other ways. Look at you, you cute thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Phoebe's a little outspoken, but once you get to know her, she's very lovable. Will you stop talking about me in the third person as if I weren't here? Kim Barnett. Nice to meet you. Hi. Kim works at the Whitney Research. Um, fabrics, right? You must be Jackie. Hello. Oh, hi. Jackie. Ben Goodstein, our coach, trainer, good friend, and next door neighbor. Ah, and this beautiful man is my husband, David. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Sorry. Bad professional habit. Uh, sprinter, right? Y yeah, in college. Um, how did you know? Trained athletes my whole life. I better be able to tell. Hi. Sylvia Goodstein, Ben's wife. Hi. Evian Perrier? The pink drink takes getting used to. <laughs> oh. But if you'd like to try it, you're welcome. Oh, no, thanks. Uh, nothing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. This is uh, Victor and Miriam uh, McCarthy. Hi. Hi. Ah, very nice outfit. Prada, a lady who knows her designers. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the verdict? Do you love it? She hasn't seen it yet. Seen what? <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Ta da! <laughs> this is a joke, right? Nope. No joke. There's no way we can afford this. The McCarthy's, the Goodsteins, and Arnold and I own this building free and clear. Fortunately, we're all very comfortable. None of us has any children, and we love being around young people. Keeps us young. <laughs> well, why don't we let these kids discuss it, and we'll see them later. Something's wrong here. How much is it? <laughs> it's only $350 a month more than that crappy midtown closet we're living in. And since the sauna and gym are included, I can quit my health club and we'd be making up half the difference right there. What's the catch? Well, I have to let him watch us have sex, but just once a month, so it's not that big. You <laughs> are a very sick man. Thank you. <laughs> it's definitely big enough to raise a family in. You heard from the doctor. <sighs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> other doctors and they're, and they're coming up with new methods every day. Yeah, but those tests and the rest of it all over again. I know. No, you don't. You can't. Men have it easy. We get stuck with needles. We get prodded and probed. And what do you get? You get a jar of Vaseline and a bunch of dirty movies. Hey, you know, you think that's you think that's easy? All right, you sit there and try to watch those Catholic girls in their uniforms and that orgy scenes. And stuff. It's terrible. I just. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I can't believe it. Four months sacrificing lunch hours, weekends, and you, you find us the dream apartment by getting mugged. <laughs> God, it's too freaking New York. <laughs> Maybe if, if we want it. We can be in and settled before Christmas. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Uh, just brushing up on my French. The bank's thinking about expanding into the Caribbean. Hey, well, if you guys need some uh, brochures done, nous parlons français, you see? Oh, yeah, oui. All right. 200 a square yard, and you let people sit on it? Well, why not? That fabric can endure 100 years on the Serengeti. My couch should certainly survive a few cocktail parties on the Upper East Side. I don't know. I've been to some pretty wild parties. Not here at camp number 12, you haven't. Well, yeah. Yeah, they are a little fanatical about their health and fitness stuff. A little. It's more like a religion to these folks sometimes. Yeah, well, it's their thing, you know. But they're sweet. Hmm. Looks great, buddy. <laughs> Jackie, don't tell me you're actually gonna work out. Uh, ben, I promise, if I ever find one extra pound on this perfect body, You'll be the first person I call. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Oh, that's Stairmaster. Even an old pro like me can overdo it sometimes. <laughs> See you later. Have you noticed all six of them have been like that the last few days? Oh, it's the flu bug. Once one of them gets it, well, all of them get it. It happens every time the season changes. Baby, David and Kim haven't seen the new Woody Allen movie yet either. Maybe we can all go on Saturday? Okay, at Trish and Allen dinner, remember? Right. Uh, Sunday? Hmm. Need your opinion on this new outfit I just bought. Wonderful smells. Cooking up a little Saturday night soiree. Some friends are coming over for dinner. Sylvia thinks it might be a little to come up and see me sometime. 
Oh, Jackie, where did you get this beautiful bedspread? What gorgeous fabric. Kim found it for me. You've become very friendly with them, haven't you? Is that a problem? No, not for me. But um, sometimes people are not exactly what they seem to be. I don't want to tell you the reason why, but I don't think we're going to renew their lease when they get back. Back? I didn't know they were gone. No, we didn't either. But this morning, Buddy saw them getting into a cab with a lot of suitcases. Oh, screw the outfits. Come on, show me what you've done with the other bedroom. Sure. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. You know the couple that lived here before? Well, she was a close horse, just like you. Beautiful girl, long blonde hair. <laughs> she used it as a closet, too. That's uh, why they moved out, huh? Not enough closet space? No, a divorce. Oh. <laughs> oh. It is the perfect floor plan for a nursery or a nanny's room, isn't it? Sylvia, she's pregnant. Pregnant? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. We've tried, but uh, no luck. Oh, you got plenty of time. Yeah, but, uh, well, it's just neither of us knew our parents. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Thanks. Uh, so we're kind of anxious to give something to a child that uh, we never had. Go change, I want to see that outfit. <laughs> Butter, heavy cream, salt. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Poison yourself and Matt and your friends? No. Your husband at least runs, works out, takes the vitamins and minerals Ben gives him. You don't do anything. And you eat like this? You should be ashamed. Oh, stop it, Sylvia. Keep your damn mouth shut and let the kids do their own thing. Ta-da! Okay, I'll take it back. Whoa, 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 whoa. You all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every so often, the cold weather gets to these old bones. Listen, uh, go on with what you were saying. Uh, it really means a lot that you feel you can confide in. Ah, I don't know. It's been feeling kind of stressed lately, you know? I haven't felt myself. Sex drive? <laughs> well, normally it's not a problem, but uh, I don't know, the last few weeks. Well, exercise is a great reducer of stress, but eventually you have to cope with the problem. I don't know, but my, my problems are pretty real. Financial? Yeah. My design studio, the, the bills are coming in faster than the work, you know? Well, what you need is a, a bridge loan. I know that, but that, that takes collateral. And... Not necessarily. How much you need? Oh, Arnold, I, I couldn't. Of course you can. Listen to me, Matt. You're like the son I never had. And it gives me a great deal of pleasure knowing that I can be in a position where I can be of help. So you just figure out what you need, let me know, and it's done. And not another word. Huh? Uh, I don't know what to say. How about okay? To me, nothing to anybody else. Listen, uh, think about how to for the day. You go on with your run, I'll see you at home. Excuse me. No, 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 don't slow down. Uh, I've been pacing you guys for a couple of miles. It's been really making me push myself. Uh, wow, I can't believe that old guy was keeping up with you. He's your grandfather or something. you got some good genes working for you. <laughs> I wish he was. He's just my neighbor. There's five more in my building. His age, just as fit. This I have to see. Or usually I hear 7 o'clock every morning. 
The other guy's bagged off today. Too cold. Well, if you don't mind, maybe I could join in. It's fun to run as a group. Yeah, sure, why not? Don't tell me you give up sex if they told you that was their secret. <laughs> no. Come on, did you put them up to this, honey? Why? Just because uh, I cooked my tail off and all you ate was broccoli and those pills Ben gives you. Mm. Thank you. No, hon, you sit. I'll, I'll, I'll help Jane. Hon, I help. got it. No, hon. I got it. Hon, I got hun. it. Thank you. You know, me amigo, wouldn't exactly kill you to eat right and start working out, you know? I know. But food, <laughs> that's the only thing that even comes close to sex in my top ten. OK, what the hell was that about? I've known Alan 10 years. I've never once seen him offer to help clean up. Hey, uh, guard the door, would you? Oh, yeah. Well, with what you've been going through, I didn't know how to tell you this. I didn't know how you take it, but um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna. Oh. Trish. <laughs> oh my god, that's so great. That's wonderful. God, does Matt know? Oh no, with business being so bad, I didn't know how to tell him. I was hoping you could help me. God, I'm gonna get through to Matt these days. You're better off going to the septuagenarians down the hall. Oh, Jackie. Mm. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Come on. I mean, Matt's always attached himself to older people. God, before we introduced you guys, you'd always weasel an invitation out of my family or... Ow! Oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, oh no, no, no. Please don't tell. Hey. I thought you said those guys were out of town. I, I, I did. Come on, let's go see what's going on. Either you're psychic or I'm getting Alzheimer's, but I didn't think we knocked. No, no you didn't. Uh, we heard a noise upstairs and... Oh, uh, uh, don't worry. It's, it's not a burglar. <laughs> Sylvia smelled some gas, and with the Barnett's out of town, we sent Buddy up there. <laughs> this is for you. Oh. No sugar, no fat, no salt. Oh. <laughs> That's well, really sweet of you. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's just a ploy to meet your friends. Oh. <laughs> Sorry uh, to interrupt. Buddy wants to show Arnold something upstairs. You'll excuse me. Um, I'm Phoebe. Oh, and this is Sylvia. Alan Kramer. The up-and-coming artist. Oh, well, yeah. It's my wife, uh, Trish. Uh, Matt's business partner. Uh, yeah. Cute as a button. But how do you let him get away with that? Well, my obstetrician says the way will come off within weeks of delivery, so. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> obstetrician, my God. The shape you're in, a cardiologist, is what you'll need. Sylvia, that's rude. No, rude would be not to say anything at all. Left to themselves, Jackie will end up being as fat as he is. Uh... I'm sorry, Sylvia. No one talks to me or my friends like that in my house. This is our house, young lady. I believe we have a two-year lease, unless you'd like to try evicting us. All right, everybody, let's just calm down, okay? Honey, relax. Honey, honey. <sighs> Sylvia, apologize right now. Oh, I am so sorry. Um, forgive us, we didn't mean to interrupt your party. Good night. Good night. Jack Don't touch me. Jay, stop it. Stop what, Matt? She insults your wife and your friend, and you tell me to relax? Thank you very much. Get in there and talk to her. She just needs to calm down for a minute first. Here, you guys hold this. I'm gonna go get you a cab. for an early run in the morning. You want to come? All right, I'm going to bed.
Jackie. Um, d do you know anything about delivering kittens? Oh, too bad. Th this stray came into our basement, and the poor little thing is in agony. It's just screeching its lungs out. A uh, breach or something, Arnold said. Oh, uh, sorry about earlier. What the hell? Can't wait till I get there. It's that time. Screw you, Randy. I'm not PMSing, and men aren't any easier, believe me. Yes, they are. Just since Saturday night, he's just been. I told you. I know, I know. Sexy black lingerie and a splashy perfume. That's your answer to everything. It works every time with that. It's like a charm, sweetie. Oh, I wish it were that simple. Listen, I have one errand to run, and I'll be right there. Uh, 57th and 6th, please. Don't continue. My bookcases this morning? Yeah. 83rd in Madison. God, you're annoying. Why can't you deliver a message like a normal person? Bye -bye. Going home at this hour. That's Kim and David's furniture. Oh, tell me about it. They never said they were leaving. And this morning, out of the blue, a FedEx. They've moved. No notice, no please, no thank you, no nothing. Moving to where? Oh, some dumb island. Who cares? The important thing is that they're check clears. They owe us three months' rent. You're joking. I wish I were. Can I... Can I see the letter? Sure, but you've got your own. It was in the FedEx. I, I slipped it under your door. Oh. Hmm. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. Well, no, I, I don't believe that bounced check business either. That's what she said. Uh, it sounds like a Phoebeism. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, but you know, David did say something to me one day about his bank in the Caribbean. It just seems so sudden. But Kim sounds really happy. They uh, want us to come visit as soon as they find a place. Hey, why not? Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the movers aren't done yet, and that delivery truck just got here. I better go direct traffic. Jackie. I'm sorry about the other night. I, I was just trying to make the peace, you know, put out the fire. And I should not have stopped you. I should have stopped Sylvia. But I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Is that stuff for recycling? Because I've got a room full of cardboard boxes up here that... I come up later. Sorry, Phoebe. These are for Jackie. Mm, Casablanca lilies. Her favorites, of course they are. I was just kidding. Matt. Ah, ese Matt Lawrence. Uh, now these are the Santos. This is uh, Ramon and Rosanna. They're uh, they're going to be taking the Barnett's apartment. Oh, uh, well, uh, well, welcome to number twelve. Uh, they don't speak English. <laughs> oh, uh, no problema. Hablo español. No Spanish either. They come from a, a remote section of Brazil. They speak a kind of broken Portuguese and, and their tribal language, chipcha. Oh. You know, talk about timing. A friend of Arnold's called the other day from Brazil. Arnold used to be down there, you know, doing research, and he learned the language. Well, he asked if Arnold could act as their translator and also find them a trainer. They're uh, marathon runners, Olympic level, and they're here for cold weather training. Then today, they show up, they hate where they're living, and voila. 
Ah, uh, great. Honey? Oh. Oh, Matt, they're beautiful. <laughs> so are you. I'll go put them in water. I just met our new neighbors. They rented Kim and David's apartment already? Yeah. That's a little weird. This time, I completely agree with you. I gotta take a quick shower, and I'll fill you in. How about a bath? Huh. Chibcha. Tribe, Upper Amazon. Until recently, very little contact with the outside world. Very little known about their secretive rituals. <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism for cannibalism, if I've ever heard one. Sure. But I read somewhere that there's no proof that cannibalism ever actually existed as a cultural norm. Hmm. Tribes used to make up stories to scare their enemies. Well, don't believe everything you read. <laughs> <laughs> all that uh, working out and, and health food stuff supposed to make you insatiable. <laughs> There's another myth shot to hell. It's not you, sweetheart. You're perfect. I'm gonna jump out. You. <laughs> I was about to write you off as a no-show this morning. Where is the rest of your gang? I'm starting to think they're imaginary. Uh, they keep them warm, I guess. Well, that worked. It is what most sane people do on mornings like these. Uh, sane is boring. Your wife sane? Uh, if you knew her, you wouldn't even ask that question. She's a certifiable lunatic. You'd love her. I'd love to meet her. Uh, sometime. She doesn't even know I exist, does she? A jealous type. Well, not usually, but lately we've been going through some stuff. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling about that. Here. It's my phone number. <laughs> Allison, you're a very attractive woman, but I... Uh... I'm just offering a friendly ear attached to a female point of view. That's all. Take care.
buddy? Buddy? You. Well, what are you doing down here? Oh, God. I thought you were out running. Um, I just, uh, I was bringing down some empty boxes. Oh, I should have asked Buddy to do that. Oh, I, I did. I guess he forgot. All oh, right. He's probably getting 3A ready for the new tenants. <laughs> oh, yeah. The new tenants. Oh, come on. It's cold and damp down here. Uh, how come there's a vault down here? Ah, uh, actually, that was very common back when they built this building. No burglar alarms then. <laughs> we just oh. use it for storage. You know? Are the kittens in there? Kittens? Yeah, uh, Saturday night, you and Phoebe rushing down the stairs to... Help. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you threw me when you said kittens. Uh, it wasn't kittens, it was rat poison. Oh. Poor thing was all bloated. From... I, I had to put her out of her misery. Oh, that's too bad. I think I just met the intended victim. <laughs> We've been kind of flaking out on Madam Lee. <laughs> Just too cold in the morning. Like to wait till the sun warms things up a little. Oh, wait, I, I have more boxes. No, 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 no. We'll let Buddy take care of that. We, we'd prefer if the tenants wouldn't go into the basement. It's just, just too dangerous down there. Bills, bills, bills. <laughs> you think they'd have the decency to wait until after the Christmas decorations are down? <laughs> I'm uh, probably late for work, so I'll see you later. Sure. <laughs> hey, you're home. Look at this, man. It's a letter for the new tenants. Look at the postmark. The date? Last Friday? Right, last Friday, the day before Kim and David left. Don't you think that's weird? Oh, no, Ben was gonna be training them whether they lived here or not. Wanna send their mail here? Yeah, well, I think it's weird. <laughs> Lately, you think everything's weird. Yeah, especially someone who shaves and puts on cologne before going running. Alone. Again? As usual. Sorry. Um, excuse me. No, no, no. no. Uh, you go on, Jackie. It's none of your no. concern. No, folks. Taxi! Taxi! How can you eat that at 9.30 in the morning? Oh. They got to you, too, huh? You one of them now? A believer? Can you be serious for two minutes? Sorry. Come on. Listen, I really want to hear this. Thank you. So I called First City Commercial Bank and Trust. There are no help at all. But uh, Sarah Atkins, the girl that used to work with Kim at the Whitney, was uh, really sweet. She's just as worried as I am. She said that Kim was in the middle of a pet research project. Three years of work. Nobody just abandons three years of work without at least turning it over to someone else or some something. You know, I gave him my office number just in case she hears anything. What did Matt say? Oh, that bad, huh? I don't know. It's just... We haven't had sex since... But nothing I do turns him on anymore. Just makes him a little Viagra with all the pills the old codgers haven't taken. Stop it! Just stop making a joke out of everything! Sorry. What are you thinking? You think he's seeing someone? Is he? 
How do I know? I wouldn't, wouldn't know. He, he wouldn't tell me. Well, Trish would know. Even if he didn't tell her, she'd know, and she'd definitely tell you. She didn't say a thing. Not even in your window. But what if he was Jackie, and you do find out? What then? Guess I'd have to kill him. Where have you been? Help me find the layouts for the staff meeting. I'm late. Yeah, tell me about it. They've been calling here every three minutes. Between them and some woman named Catherine Rogers, I'm getting a headache from the phone ringing. Uh, who? What, Catherine Rogers. You don't know her? No, and unless she knows where my layouts are, I don't care who she well, is. Well, she's called about seven million times today. She's very persistent. She says she got your number from Sarah Atkins at the Whitney. Uh -huh. Here, here. Oh. No, wait, no, wait, 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 you're late. Just use the phone. Call on the way. Go, 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 go. Hello? Miss Rogers? Yes. Jackie Lawrence. Oh, Ms. Lawrence. Thank you very much for calling. I'm David Barnett's sister. Jackie, they're waiting. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. Um, can we meet this afternoon, say three-ish? Love to. Uh, your hotel? The main Great. I'll see you there. New York City Marathon. There's a date on the back. Find out who won it. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. My adoptive mother left it to me. You know, when she died, I felt really alone. I guess that's what started me on this whole roots thing, you know? I never knew I had a brother until four years ago. I've been tracing him ever since. Getting this close and hitting a dead end, it's just... I don't know why Phoebe lied to you. She knows where they are. Ugh, for God's sake, she gave me this. It's from Cam. It came inside a FedEx addressed to the Yanishes. It's a sweet letter. She sounds like a doll. She is. I really wanted to get to know her better. You don't know anything about her background, do you? Not much. I think besides David, she doesn't have anyone either. Neither did Matt and I. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Uh, no, I, I wasn't looking for sympathy. I, I was just thinking what a coincidence it is. Two couples with no families in, in the same building. Mm. Mel Brooks. He hasn't made a movie in years, has he? <laughs> Why'd you mention Mel Brooks? Well, it says right here, sorry we had to miss the new Mel Brooks movie. You want an explanation? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, picture this. You're in the Caribbean on an expense account. Big, beautiful ocean. Hot, equatorial sun. Gentle waves lapping across the perfect white sand. Running around your little bikini. That, oh, what is that? Another pina colada? Why, thank you, Mr. Beach Boy. Is that number five or six? You know what? It doesn't even matter because I'm just jotting down a letter. Woody Allen, Mel Brooks, Mel Gibson. Who cares? Just bring me another pina colada. Sounds great. Let's go. But even drunk, there's no way Kim would have mixed up Mel Brooks and Woody Allen. There's, there's no way. You know what? I bet people get them mixed up all the time. In fact, I'll bet you a pina colada, if you ask any of the Twelvers, they won't know one from the other. No. I'm sure you're right. Jackie? Jackie, you all right? Hey, what the heck? It's Catherine Rogers. I recognize her dress. The as yet unidentified victim was an African-American woman in her late 20s. She apparently fell from the window of her 14th floor hotel. <laughs> Police quickly sealed off the immediate oh, Don't answer it. Just pretend we're not here. Please, just... They probably just heard the noise. I'll just go get rid of them, okay? About what? We're, uh... We're gonna let the media handle it as a suicide. But, uh... It wasn't. She was pushed out that window. I'm not a suspect, am I? Oh, no, 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 no. She did uh, make several calls to your office, and, uh, well, we wanted to know why. Well, after what Dr. and Mrs. Janusz told me, I think I already have a pretty good idea. What well, was it, a robbery or something? Well, first of all, her name wasn't Rogers. We ain't sure yet what it was, but uh, the IDs and credit cards she had on her, stolen. So, uh, she, she wasn't David Barnett's sister? Well, like I told the Yanishes, Kim and David Barnett 
weren't who they said they were either. They were involved in a scheme to defraud the uh, First City Merchant Bank and Trust. <laughs> Got away with a bundle. Uh. We were just as shocked to hear about it as you were. Of course, Phoebe said, I told you so. <laughs> we suspected this woman was some kind of accomplice that they decided to cut out. She started dogging him, they killed him. 14 stories. Oh, she must have been squished like a ripe tomato. And you're damn lucky, because if you had met her in her room instead of in the lobby... Stop! That's all I've gotten from Matt since that cut left last night. They think you might be in any danger? No, but he told me to call him if I heard anything which he thought was extremely unlikely. I'm just not buying this whole thing. I talked to her. I looked into her eyes. She was on the level. And I can't believe Kim and David are who they say they are either. You want my advice on this one, girl? Stay out of it. That medal I give you, anything? <sighs> okay, well, Bruce H. Roth, you know him? Nope, but I'd sure like to talk to him. Go hit the information highway and find him. But who is this guy, anyway? Probably the tenant before us. I don't know for sure, but if he is, I'd like to talk to him. See if I'm crazy or if someone else thought things at number 12 were a little weird. Hey, you. Hey, there's a surprise. <laughs> You don't usually run this late. How you been? Great. Busy, but great. I, oh. 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 You OK? I don't know. Oh, ow. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. You want me to uh, call a doctor or ambulance or something? No, no, no. I think I just twisted it. Maybe you could just help me get home. Yeah. Here. Here we go. Ow. OK. doing in my apartment? Uh, did you see the firemen leaving? <laughs> One of our smoke detectors malfunctioned, set off the alarm. They, they were here in minutes. <laughs> uh, sorry to have invaded your privacy, but we had to check all the smoke detectors. They said they'd find us if it, if it happened again. Yeah, I understand. I am just uh, very tired. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt, but can you get that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Got it? Yeah. Oh. Hello? Hello? Who is it, honey? That explains your lack of sex drive, you son of a bitch! You're a jerk. There was nothing going on. She's oh. just a girl that I met running on the track. She fell, I helped her with her ankle, I heard you the first 2,000 times. Well, that's because it's the truth, Trish. All right, then call her right now in front of me. Convince me that you weren't playing house with her. Then I can go home and talk to Jackie tonight and convince her to talk to you. Fine. Hello. Allison? No, she moved out. She went? I'm just here cleaning up. I don't know. Her furniture? What? Her furniture? No, these are, these are furnished apartments. We just rent them by the week. Talk to Jackie yet? <sighs> no. She's still staying at Trish and Allen's. Dr. Simone Friedlander, an old friend, one of the best couples therapists in New York. Talk to her. She'll tell you how to break the ice. When Jackie cools down, you can both go and see her. Thanks, but... No buts about it. This is my treat. I won't take no for an answer. That's, that's very generous of you, Arnold. But... This goes on your tab. <laughs> you can pay me back whenever you can. Well, I see it's not just that. I don't think Jackie would go. Why? Because it's my recommendation. We all know Jackie thinks we're all a bunch of nosy old fogies. Well, just don't tell her it was my idea. She loves you. She'll go. Hello? 
It's not you and me. It's us. Both of you. You're both the problem. And you're both the solution. Listen to me, kids. I could get thrown out of the AMA for saying this. But I think these infertility doctors are better at causing divorce than they are at making babies. Sex becomes a symbol of failure instead of the act of love that it is meant to be. Because one or the other or both start feeling inadequate. So let's fix it, okay? Can we just rewind back to last fall, start over? Just somewhere else, away from those people. It'd be nice if life allowed us to do that. Running away doesn't help. I, I don't mean that. You should move, but not yet. Solve the problems first, and then when you do move, you'll start fresh and new. Make sense? Right. Here is my suggestion. Do something unconditional for each other. You don't want to move. Starting tomorrow, you help Jackie apartment hunt. And you, Jackie, much as you hate it, you are going to join Matt in his health and exercise regimen. OK. So with me helping you work things through, by the time it stops snowing and there are buds on the trees out there, the perfect apartment will pop up, and a healthy, happy couple will be ready to start their life over. Good morning. Hey. Oh, spring is great, isn't it? So, did Arnold talk to you guys this morning? No. Oh, listen, I hate to bring this up, but we've got this new liability policy, and they want everybody who uses the gym to take a physical. Uh, you're joking. No, no. Look, I, I know it's an inconvenience, but we'll pay for it. Okay? Okay. Good, thanks. I'll have Arnold set up an appointment for you. Yeah, hey, Ben, uh, I'm gonna take this the wrong way, but maybe you ought to have one, too. You're not looking your usual self. I had one. I'm fine. Uh, it's just a touch of the flu. Happens every change of season. I'll see you later. Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence, so nice to meet you. Dr. Yonish is always referring such lovely young couples to me. Matt? Those are the cutest things I've ever seen. Yeah, aren't they great? Trish is going to die when she sees those. When did Trish and Alan start jogging? <laughs> are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> no way. Oh, you, you never even said you suspected. I, d I didn't. I, I knew I was late, but I thought it was just because of everything that was going on. But then Dr. Conica calls with the results of our physicals, which are both birthright, by the way, and, and blurts out, did you know you were pregnant? I, I can't wait to tell everybody. Oh, uh, don't, actually, Matt. Um, maybe Trish and Alan, but, but no one else. I even asked the doctor to take it off the insurance report. Maybe we'll be out of here before I'm even showing. Yes, I kind of was hoping you'd softened about that. Yeah, I was, but, well, there. That's our family, you, me, and our baby. I mean, no matter how well-meaning they are, they're not our family. Please don't ask me to raise our baby here. No, of course not. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Saturday morning. Go back upstairs, young man, this minute and put on your running gear. I wish I could, Phoebe, but I got a ton of work to get done by Monday. Another deadline, huh? Yeah. Well, where's Jackie? She can keep in shape for both of you. <laughs> She's upstairs pampering herself. She's gonna take a sauna. I'll see you guys later. Jackie, darling, I didn't know you were in here. Can I join you? Oh, no. It's not very hot in here. Is something not working? I, I turned it down, actually. I just wanted to get warm, not hot. Are you a little under the weather? Have you got a chill or something? Uh, oh, my goodness. 
I, I didn't know we were three. <laughs> Here, Jackie, you take this. Uh, no, thanks. It's fresh brewed mint tea, iced to perfection. I won't take no for an answer. Taste it. Oh, wow, it's delicious. <laughs> you have this, I'll go make more. Mm. Jackie, darling, don't go to sleep. That can be very dangerous. No, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Too bad. Dr. Conacher told us your little secret. Wife is still unconscious, but indications are she's going to be fine. We're very lucky to have Dr. Giannis as a neighbor. His quick thinking made the difference. By the way, they were very hurt you didn't tell them about her pregnancy. You, you going out? Thinking about it. Uh, you going out by yourself? Because maybe that's not such a good idea. Maybe Phoebe... Don't you dare. I'll never see any of them again. I'll... We're like some kind of cult. Actually, I, I am going to go out. I'm, I'm going to go in and buy some garlic to string around the door so I can uh, keep that out. You are feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, sweetheart, maybe you should take it easy on Phoebe. She doesn't seem like she's feeling very well. Do the others look sick? Why? Well, Kim said that they all get sick every change of season, and then they all get better again. Remember, just before Christmas... Why would you listen to anything that Kim had to say? <sighs> Baby, I almost lost you a week ago. And those people may have already killed one woman, so promise me you just let that go. Promise me. Hey, that is a disgusting habit. Well, then I'm disgusting. Yeah, well, you just better keep them well hidden because if Matt finds them, he will kill you. On the other hand, Mr. Health and his adopted grandparents would be just as appalled by this. So what's the surprise you have for me? Hey, you know that Bruce H. Roth guy? We found him. No, but it turns out we're not the only ones looking for him. Okay, like weeks ago when you asked me to, I put this notice all over the web. And yesterday I get an email from a guy in Utah who wants to know if I found Roth or his wife. Says they both just went poof like six months ago. And did this guy know them well? Uh, only from a chat room. They were uh, cyber pen pals for two or three years. They never met. Okay, but here's the freaky part, Jacqueline. Wait till I tell you what kind of chat room it was. Well, don't make me guess unless you think you can survive on unemployment. Okay, it was a support group for adults who grew up without their parents. Both Roth and his wife, just like you and Matt. 
Yeah, now this is really starting to give me the creeps, girl. I want you two out of there. Trish, Alan, call me the minute you get home. Please. Hello? Creepier and creepier. Listen to this. AMA directory, Yanish, Arnold K. M. D., graduated Harvard Medical School. Ready? June 10th, 1929. That's 72 years ago. Right. So even if he was some kind of wunderkind, it means he has to be close to 100. You think that's amazing? This one even has a picture. New York Post, Friday, March 15th, 1962. That's 39 years ago, right? Right. Brandeis coach retires. After 32 years as athletic director, Benjamin Goodstein, 64, announces that he will retire at the end of the school year. That would make him a hundred and something. Yeah, here. National Association of Chemists. McCarthy, Victor, PhD. Member since, hello? Hello, Jackie? Randy? Jackie, hello? Hello? <sighs> Jackie, darling, you all right in there? Oh, I, I'm, uh, I'm fine. I was just sleeping. Um, mm, uh, what's what's wrong? Oh, it's, it's just a damn power outage. You know, lights, phones, nothing to worry about. They'll have it fixed soon. Sorry I woke you. Yeah, this is Jackie Lawrence. I'm looking for Randy Watts. Oh, hi, Miss Lawrence. You just missed him. He left. He left? Um, listen, could you do me a favor? Could you forward my calls to my cell phone, please? Sure. Thanks. Uh, yes, uh, Detective Thomas Sullivan, please. Thomas Sullivan, we ain't got one. Of those. What do you mean you ain't got one of those? He he came to see me. He gave me his card. Hold on a second, would you? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll hold. Matt. Yeah, did you find him? Sort of. He retired 23 years ago. That's impossible. He couldn't have retired 23 years ago. He just came to to see me a few weeks ago. Someone's messing with you, ma'am. You should file a complaint. No, no, I I don't want to file. Sorry, I was sleeping. I'm disoriented. <clears throat> Are you looking for Randy? Jackie, Randy's dead. The police said some old guy in a pickup truck ran him down right in front of your office. Didn't even stop. What? You have reached the Kramer residence. Alan thinks these messages should be funny. I don't. What do you think? Damn it! Where are you? Trish, Alan, anybody? 
I got you. Alan, just listen hey, to you me. Know your phone's out of order. Alan, yeah, please, just listen to me for a second, please, Al Alan. Alan. Jackie. Jackie. What's the matter? Oh, cell phones, right? Invented solely to torment people. She'll call back. Alan! Alan! Damn it! Jackie, are you all right, sweetie? You look drawn. I don't know. I, I keep getting sick. Should I call Dr. Conacher? I, you know, I uh, actually need Buddy more. My toilet's stuffed up. Oh, well, I'll get him for you. Why don't you just go lie down? Phoebe, you know what you could do for me? I would love some of your, your mint tea. Probably would settle my stomach. No problem. Coming right up. Buddy, just the man I was looking for. My toilet's all backed up. Oh, I'll get my stuff. Be right up. Uh, buddy, uh, the door's unlocked. I'm gonna be at Phoebe's having some tea. Yeah, okay. Are you down there? Jackie? Jackie? Arnold, is she down there? I don't see her. Damn. She's not here. Maybe in here. I just know something horrible is going on. They killed Randy. <laughs> just take it.
Where is she? Is she all right? She's with Trish. Matt, she's really upset, so just listen to what she has to say, okay? Look, Ellen, she's my wife, and I love her. But after what happened, her body chemistry is so screwed up, she doesn't even know where she is half the time. I got phone calls from Arnold, from Phoebe, and Dr. Conacher, all telling me that she has flipped out. All right, stuff them! And the body chemistry crap, okay? She's your wife, I'll do respect, but she's my best friend. And I'm telling you, she's not crazy. She's, she's confused and upset, but crazy, no. So, she's upstairs. Thanks. This was in Buddy's closet? Your watch was there, too. Uh, there's got to be some kind of explanation. Explain we... Catherine's necklace. Explain the broken headlight. Explain Detective Sullivan. Explain the, the Ross and Kim and, and David all having no family. Like, like us, man. Okay, all right, sweetheart, okay. Look, I don't know what the hell's going on, but the important <laughs> thing is that you're okay. Right? When I called the police, I, I should have told them. Well, what, are you, what are you gonna tell him? You, you tell me, and I'll call him right now, and I'll tell him myself. They killed Randy. They killed Randy. She just fell asleep in my arms. Gave her an Allen-sized dose of Valium. That's probably a good idea. What do you think's going on over there? Uh, I don't have a clue. I think we should call the police. I don't think that's a very good idea. What do you mean you don't think that's such a good idea? What have you got to lose? Jackie hates that place. Well, what we could lose, Trish, is our business. Our business? We were in trouble, and I borrowed 100 grand from Arnold. If I default, he owns us. How could you do that without telling me? I'm sorry. Okay, it's done. Forget it. Okay? Let's figure out what we're gonna do next. Now, Matt, if these people are really into murder and whatever, there's no way they're gonna be collecting from Sing Sing, right? Yeah, all right, but if we're gonna call the police, we have to have some clue as to what's going on over there. Okay, and how do you plan on doing that? I go home, act like nothing's wrong, you know, hey, where's Jackie? When they can't tell me, I tell them I'm gonna call the police. I just see how they react. I mean, they're just a bunch of old people. What are they gonna do to me? I'll drive you. All right, come Where's Alan? Where's Matt? Uh, they went to your place. Don't worry, they'll be right back. When did they go? Uh, about 10.30. Trish, it's 3 in the morning! Hi, you've reached Jackie and Matt. We're out. Leave a message. Matt, pick up, please. Matt, if you're, if you're there, pick up. Who are you calling? The police. 911. What are you gonna tell them? Yeah. Uh, hello? Yes? You know the uh, hit and run on Madison Avenue? When, ma'am? Uh, yesterday? At 54th Street. Yes, where the man was killed. Well, what about it, ma'am? I know where the blue truck is. <sighs> okay. It's gonna be okay. The police will be here any second. What if they've hurt them? What am I going to do, Jackie? The police are here. Oh, okay. No, I, uh, stay here. Keep the engine running. I'll be right back. It's open. The, the door to the basement, they usually keep it locked. They? Oh, Jackie, darling, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, we've been so worried about you. Keep her away from me. Oh, poor baby. Ask them what they've done with my husband and, and Alan. Jackie, where have you been? We were worried sick about you. Jackie, thank goodness you're okay. What's going on here? They killed Randy. They have my husband. Officer, she's been having a rough time of it of late. Obviously, the death of a friend yesterday was too much for her. He's lying. I can show you. Jackie, what's the point of wasting these officers' time? Get out of my way! Buddy 
fixed it. Fixed what, Jackie? Whose buddy? The headlight was broken. I but saw it. But he's our superintendent. He's on vacation now with his family in Chicago. You remember that, don't you, dear? Oh, there's no damage. Uh, officer, can I speak with you a moment? No! Don't listen to him! Give them a minute. Hold. Settle down. Give them a minute. Settle down. This carriage alone would be enough to upset a woman's balance. Add the fact that her husband left her and that her best friend gets killed. She had to blame someone. She chose us, the people who love her the most. Seen it before, Doc. The Anna shit happens. He's lying. Whatever he told you is oh, a lie. Relax, Just ask my friend Trish. She's relax. outside in the car. Take it easy, all right? It was right there. You saw me get out of it. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't. The first time I saw you was when you ran up to our car. Uh, officer, uh, would you mind if we took it back in the house? I can get you something to calm her down. Sure, Doc. I just need to get some information. No! Doc. All right, Jack. No! Please! They're going to kill me! Miriam, no. uh, would you give the officer any information he might want? Of course. You're killing me! Let me go! Come on, Jackie. Don't fight it. See? There is one advantage to being old. You can get away with murder. <laughs> We'll have to give her a blood test. This soon after her pregnancy, the body may not have resumed producing. Wake up, Jack. We have a surprise. I want to tell you a secret. How do you think we stayed so young, hmm? Only you young bastards are healthy enough to have the glow coursing through your veins. But I'm not a victor. Discovered how to distill it. Its, um, it's mad flavor. I love you, baby. Hey. I love you. Where's Ben? You can forget about getting out of this building, Missy. It's sealed up as tight as your young little butt. She must have gotten upstairs. 
Victor, shut the doors. Lock them up. It's got to be here somewhere. She can't just have gotten out. What the hell's going on up there? The foreigners were getting nosy. Locked them in. What else could I do? I'll tell them it's a burglary or something. doing some masonry work in the basement. The dust must have set up one of the alarms. I, I'm dreadfully sorry. Okay, Dr. Yana. If you think everything's fine, I'll call it in and I'll shut off the alarm. Thanks.
son. We'll catch him. Are you all right, young man? Yeah, thanks. I think so. Sorry. He was just too fast. No permanent damage, I hope. No, no, I think I'm okay. Try, but young ran us. Look at you guys. I'd run like hell, too. <laughs> Healthy or dead is our motto. So we, uh, we try to stay in shape. At your age, it's easy. At our age, it's imperative. What's wrong? Wallet, keys, money, everything was in my pack. Do you, do you live nearby? Uh-uh, Midtown. Oh, wait, look, come on. We live across the park. You come on over, or you can use the phone. I'm Simone Friedlander, and this is Dr. Conacher. And I'm Tom Sullivan, NYPD. Retired. <laughs>